We're on to our last logarithm rule we're going to be looking at. We've got the power rule, which is very, very useful for solving exponential equations. Using logarithms or the natural logarithm, ln, we are going to show this one law is very powerful, very useful. Again, I'm doing a general base. Doesn't matter if base 10, base 3, base e, our natural logarithm, it all works the same. So let's say I have x to the power of y. Again, okay, starting off very general. This, you can do a nice little trick. Rather than actually having to do x to the y, you can rewrite this as y times log to the base b of x. There's your power rule. Later on, we're going to see this is useful. Especially if you have an exponent where the variable is unknown or the the power is unknown, is x, and you're trying to solve for x, this is what you're going to be using. This is a useful trick. So we'll look at some of those applications later when we're solving equations, but I want to also show you just applications of this. So let's go say log to the base 2. And what we might have is, I'm going to do a really nice example of this, 2 to the 8. Hmm. So I can multiply this out, get a huge, awkward, ugly number, and then figure out 2 to the power of what is this. But hopefully you're starting to see this is going to simplify very easily. Because I can rewrite this as 8 log 2 to the 2. And sure enough, well, 2 to the 2, log 2 to the 2, what does 2 have to be raised to to get 2? Is 1. So that whole thing becomes 1. 8 times 1 is 8. Of course, that was kind of a silly example because also if you look at this and go, well, what does 2 have to be to raise 2 to become 2 to the 8? Well, by definition, it should be 8. 2 has to be raised to 8 to become 2 to the 8. But let's look at another, maybe less silly example, but still demonstrates the point. Let's go log to the base 5 and say 25 to the power of 3. This one's maybe not quite as obvious right away. Well, we can apply the same rule. If we wanted to, we could do 25 to the power of 3, get this some huge, awkward, ugly number, and then spend a bunch of time playing our calculator figuring out 5 to the power of what equals that number. And, well, we'd have to write down the number, and it would just be tedious. And why do that when there's this nice power rule to help us? We can just bring the 3 in front. 3 log 5 of 25. And now I just have to think 5 to the power of what gives me 25? Well, 5 squared. So this whole thing right here is equal to 2. This log to the base 5 of 25 just becomes 2. And so our answer is 6. And sure enough, try it out for yourself if you want. You can go in and put 25 to the power of 3, get the big huge number, and then do th uh, 5 to the power of 6 and see that it's the same big huge number. So, just quick application of the power law, and we're going to be using this quite a bit. So, see you later.